gonna get some. But in the meanwhile, I ain't gonna sweat it because I'm not the one that's gonna be in no damn hurricane or no tsunami or any of that shit. So, you know, I can deal with the homeless shit for a while because I'm still on the earth doing my job. And part of my job is to put up with foolishness. Anytime you idiots is gonna make me suffer on my own planet and then I'm the one that has the ability to bestow adversity or prosperity to you, I'm gonna prove that to you. Watch what I tell you. See, you may believe it's out of all you guys. See, this is what happened. We came down here and destroyed everything, did shit to the water to make them be birth, birth defects and all kinds of stuff. This is the horrible, horrible, horrible deeds of you guys. Horrible. These people have nothing now. All this stuff's been destroyed. Look at this. Look at this. African hair gear. Look at that. Here in the Americas. Then you know the same people who left Africa came here. Look at that black face. This is who you guys are. This is the black people that you were before those white people came here and convinced you to become white Catholics. This is how actually melanated you all were. Truth be told, this is who you were. We came here and lined you up and taught you to hate your blackness. That's the reason I talk to foolish ass black girls who have nerves to tell me, well, by my hair, I'm not black. Look at this lady here. Look how wavy it is. It's no different than your hair, world. And as you can see, it's black. So us melanated people have all facial characteristics. There is no limitation on our facial characteristics. Even you white people are black people. You just lost your melanin. All this power. See, again, I apologize about the light. But this is what you reduce people to, walking around, having to work so hard like this. Because you come in and destroy the whole system of self survival. Kill all these babies. See? Reduce them. Just selfish and didn't care. And then out of nerves when someone come at you and accuse you of all these crimes. But some people are gonna have to just be responsible for other than just trying to do what's necessary for you to be on earth. Some of us know that we were sent here to change things for the best interest of all. And we put ourselves at risk to do it. And a lot of people don't put themselves at risk to do it. So even though they know it's a good cause, they try to be angry and act like it's something wrong with you. Who cares about them? I don't. I really don't. You can see it. Look. All of it, see? Look at it. You see? Look what he's doing. Look at all this foolishness. All in the name of that shit. There you go. With your pedophile ass cross in your hand. See? Holding it up to the light. Holding it up to the sunlight. Look at that. Showing you how pagan and crazy you guys are. You know they worship the sun, but then you try to keep it on the down low so the black people won't know that the sun is God. But all you white people know that, and you've been hiding that shit from us for so long, and I know that. That's why you act like you don't know who I am, but I know that you all do. And all you white people are not the people that I'm talking to. It's just a small percentage of you guys that are really, really trying to hold on to that foolish shit. And it's because it's in their best interest. Because it's, it's profitable to keep us black people dumb of who we are and always begging y'all for shit. It's very profitable. So here we go. Homeless is hell, okay? But you can see the church. I came here and gave all these niggas your Christianity after you beat the shit out of them and stole everything from them. Here they all go now, reduced, and in your church, worshiping your white ass. See, this is what you did all over the planet. This is what you have done, okay? Change all these people into good ass Catholics. And you even light them up until they melanin away from them. Yeah? That's what they are. Good ass Catholics now. 
ready to hate their own blackness because that's part of being a Catholic. It's in your book. Hate those niggas in Deuteronomy chapter 7. Go read it. All of through Deuteronomy, that book doesn't do anyone any good. It only, it's, it only demands separatism and hatred from your white God, Jehovah. Don't get mad at me for telling you about your Bible. You should know it. It's your Bible. Turned all these people into daggers. Look. Just like you see me doing now, having to walk around in bed because you want your whiteness to be supreme. So you reduce everybody financially, take away that part of the earth, build your houses on it, and then charge everybody high ass rent as you remove opportunities for them to make money away from them. We got you figured out. We didn't figure you out. And then this lady have to live now with all this masonry, modern shit that they came in and built and removed all the trees and the ponds and the sources of water and everything that the universe had gave her to survive with. So look at her now, reduced. And all these places that she can go are gonna demand money from her if she could get any help from them. This is the European way. Even though all this architecture and shit is ours, our knowledge in the earth is ours, they didn't care. They stole the earth and reduced the all. I'm not being mean, I just want you guys to see the proof of my accusation. Again, good Catholics and Christians. Poor as hell and dumb. Taught them to drink alcohol, smoke cigarettes, be homosexuals and lesbians. Drink alcohol, eat meat. Do everything we say you can do because all you gotta do is ask Jesus for forgiveness. But before you guys came here, we didn't have that foolishness in our minds because this sunlight told us don't believe that shit. You gotta do what I tell you to do. But, of course, there were some of us who wanted to be unlike, instructed by the sun. So the sun has given us all the chance to see what happens when we rear away from the teachings of our true mother and father. We get mother and fathers who don't give a shit about us. Like Father Jesus and Father God, white man in the crowd. That ain't gonna do nothing for you but make you be looking stupid and desolate like this lady right here and her child. And they probably got a Bible there somewhere with them. And we place all the apples and the bananas and the pears and the palm trees and everything that Christianity came to cut down and land. See, slum, slum, slum. See? See? Nothing but ghetto life. That's what they create everywhere. And they make you put all these stupid structures up so the earth stop producing vegetation. And the only thing should be on this earth is vegetation. We should not have capitalism. We should have fruit trees growing and vegetation growing and stuff like that so the earth can give us natural shelter. Anytime you start building all these artificial shelters everywhere, it's only to take control of everything. That's why they did it. When they kill it all off the planet, they can cut all this shit down. But that ain't their plan. Their plan is to destroy the top of the earth so everyone can move into the body, into the inside of the earth, and be miserable as hell because the grays who's running everything need that miserable energy on the earth because it's soothing to them. So they make all those people have to go through poverty and space of suffering and everything. So our mental energy will be going around the earth of all that anguish available for them to feed off of is what Morris Donaldson calls space dust. Look at it, destroy these people. All this poverty that was not there before the Europeans came. Before the Europeans came, this was forestation with food running around in it, snakes, trees, Everything these people knew, their medicine and everything was available for them from the soil. And someone came in and deliberately fucked all that up so they can take control of these people. And we all know who did that. So when I warn you that the universe is saying, I'm getting ready to pay you guys back by destroying your cities if you don't listen to my prophet when this shit happens, I'm not going to be trying to feel sad because you know what? God, what you call it, is so considerate of you guys that it sent me to narrate to you what's going down with these weather circumstances. 
And you guys just want to overlook it. Find me. All this poverty. Always had us young, our young melanated kids. Now these guys grew up to be nothing but thieves and derelicts because look at that circumstance around them. So how could they come become anything other than that? Look at this guy over here digging through the garbage. I know he happy ain't no white people around because they be, why are you doing in my garbage? Why are you in my garbage? Get away from the garbage. See? See how you guys are? I showed you all this stuff in my video. Look at it. He went from going to pick cucumbers and tomatoes and finding lizards and everything that the earth gave him to survive off of to rummaging through all this plastic garbage stuff that is European created. This is what they do, destroy nature and give you that materialism. Stupid ass plastic bag. Now, instead of leaves with all kind of different gatherings and he could have gathered his whole meal, one big ass leaf and then put all the herbs and roots and everything he got to roll it up inside the leaf, put it all in the pot to cook it or eat it raw. Now he got to run through the damn garbage like I be doing, like I was doing when I was scavenging through the garbage for a living. See, it's global. You know why? Some more poverty. So I'm showing you guys this to show you what I was sent here to fix, okay? This stuff is not going to stay on the earth because the earth was not designed for the God and goddesses that get this fresh here to have to live like this. That's all there is to it. And this is the gods and goddesses that I'm talking about. Contrary to your idea of these being human, heathens and undesirables and niggas and stuff that should, people that should not have a right to be on the earth, the nerve of you, okay? Because these people are the people that the Federation know has the right to be here because the Federation put them here. And so the Federation is here to get rid of the people who has made their lives a miserable living hell. All this freaking mining of every damn thing. Why these people sit there poor and broken and desolate. Y'all greedy asses make millions of dollars and run back to Europe with it so the queen can have 53 million dollars to spend in one year on her house after you guys come in and revolutionize everyone's soil, water, everything, air, ruined and destroyed. They live in the poverty and then y'all asses run around the world and use the money to build bombs and churches and everything just to perpetuate more European evil. See, there y'all go. All in the background, everywhere, and lighting everybody ass up. Perpetuation of more European evil. See the tie? You see it? That's European attire. Everywhere in the picture. Always about whenever there's poverty and this struggle. This guy is saying, well, we should have saw what was coming. I mean, come on. He said, I mean, they took my boo boo too. And I sit around and I wonder what's going to happen day by day. And so I just, I'm very glad that I saw this here. I love you as all. Peace. Stir up some shit. Peace and blessings. Because the people are desolate. And we know not what to do. There's no banana trees, no more animals, nothing but cars and high price for gasoline and apartments. High price to live in too. We not need any of that stuff. We were doing just fine. But now we got all this stuff. We not do so well. E. This guy say, well, I've got a bunch of problems. See, you don't know how to handle things because I'm a professor of eco logical e 